Always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. That's nice, right? <laughs> and the battle is getting intense with the latest word from the media melee of the Geneva Auto Show, including a new version of a crossbow, a proto scar, and a new BMW teaser site that'll bring battle cries to fans' lips, and another entry in the sedan efficiency wars. Oh, and just how close is the General Motors giant to falling to its knees? What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. We'll find out today on the world's awesomest daily car show. It's Fast Lane Daily. Roll it. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. General Motors could be closer to bankruptcy than the company had been letting on. An independent audit by GM's accounting firm has issued a letter of, quote, substantial doubt on the company. That means bean counters question GM's ability to continue as a going concern. Those questions come from operational losses, poor cash flow, and a stockholder's deficit. The Detroit News reports GM nearly ran out of money in December just before securing up to $13.4 billion in federal loans. Last week, a GM official said the company needs up to $16.6 billion more to survive what has become the worst car sales market since the early 1980s. GM ended 2008 with $14 billion in cash, or about $3 billion more than the minimum amount it needs to pay bills. GM has lost around $82 billion in recent years, although recently instituted a cost-cutting plan aimed at healing the company's struggling operations and repaying the federal loans. Let's hope so. Now back to the Geneva Motor Show, where Mercedes rolled out its redesigned mid-size sedan. That's, of course, the E-Class. Mercedes edged the E-Class design closer to the company's latest C-Class design. It also introduced the new E-Class Coupe, a new model that replaces the discontinued CLK Class 2-door. The E-Class gets a bunch of new technologies. Those include more efficient direct injection four and six cylinder engines that consume 23% less fuel. That's combined with a new blue efficiency package with lower rolling resistance tires and a hybrid-like stop-start function. No word on price or US release, but the company will likely include that info at the E-Class North American release. And Austrian motorcycle builder KTM unveiled its new version of a carbon fiber chassis Audi powered crossbow track day toy in Geneva this week. Those include the base model crossbow street and the Crossbow Club Sport, and the FIA-sanctioned racing model, the GT4. The new versions follow a recessional cut in yearly output from 1,000 units to 600 units. Prices range from around 50,000 euros to 82,000 euros, with the Club Sport model costing a range of 60,000 euros. Still no word on a US release, but KTM can probably, you know, wait a couple years. And while some fans of BMW's M-Power models are baffled by the first M SUVs, BMW is still launching a show and tell campaign. The company launched a new website promoting the X5 and X6M models. The turbocharged V8 powered trucks could be unveiled as early as next month. The X5M and X6M models are expected to feature a more powerful version of BMW's twin turbocharged 4.4 liter V8. Prior reports indicated the models could produce a similar 507 horsepower as the company's naturally aspirated V10. Zero to 60 times could undercut five seconds. Well, all right. Next up, there's more on the Geneva Motor Show media preview wrap up with a new electric roadster. And it's Swiss, so you don't want to miss it. It's coming up, so stick around right after this. next week on Garage 419 and Wednesday and Thursday next week on Fastlane Daily. Vaughn Gittin Jr. drifts Japan in a 2010 Mustang. As if the world needed another electric sports car concept, this week in Geneva, a Swiss technology firm introduced the Protoscar Lampo. Wait, Pro Protoscar? Yep. All right. Anyway, it's made from carbon fiber composite materials and gets power from a two electric motor design. Those add up to output of 268 horsepower and an instant 325 pounds-feet of torque. Each axle gets a separate motor, which makes for all-wheel drive power delivery. A 32-kilowatt lithium-ion battery provides a range of 120 miles on a charge by way of typical European household 240-volt, 10-16-amp power. Charging from a household outlet takes up to 12 hours. 
Protoscar says the Lampo can get from 0 to 60 in just 5 seconds flat and tops out at 124 miles per hour. Not a word on price or release date, but don't get too excited. The Lampo is likely just a showcase vehicle for the company's consulting business. Well, that about does it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D, and a special happy birthday to Edward Pichardo down in the Dominican Republic. It's his 20th birthday, man, so happy birthday. Also, head over to garage419.com for the Lotus episode. It's live right now. If you want to go check that out. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Peace. That's David Souter. He's from Detroit. Detroit represent. He's got some cool kicks on, too. I don't know if you can see him from there. They're pretty dope. I told him I'd give him a cameo. No problem. Let's go high five. Oh, that was interesting. <laughs>